Hey everybody, Delta Flight Gaming back again with more Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Uh, I plan on going through... I can't pick him up? Well, yeah, I'm going to plan on going through all of the Metal Gear games. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm going to start with Metal Gear, then I'm going to go back and hit up Metal Gear. Pretty much go by the number, but not, not by chronological, you know, when the games actually take place. So... But for those who weren't, uh, who didn't <coughs> catch my last episode, we made our way into Shadow Moses area, and we got to see uh, Psycho Mantis, as well as we got uh, released from prison, and we saw that the DARPA chief had a heart attack. So we got to, I mean, for those who have never played the game, hopefully you guys have by this time, because it's, it's a pretty good series. <clears throat> I apologize. I just I just eaten so like open outward please. Damn it. So this morning, I haven't I haven't been read more into it, but I just saw that the Notre Dame Cathedral caught fire. Like, <clears throat> I have no idea how that even happened. But that's just kind of like it's kind of fucked up. You know, that something like that has happened. It doesn't look like there's anything underneath. Then the new. The new Game of Thrones aired last night. That actually wasn't that bad of an episode. I liked it. Uh, and my girlfriend showed me, or I looked, she, her brother sent the new episode 9 trailer to her. And I finally saw it, and I'm actually feel pretty confident about this, about that movie. I think it's going to do, you know, pretty well to end, you know, to end the series. And you look like you can be blown up. Whoops. Okay. I just didn't want to set any more bombs than I needed to. Socom, Famous, a lot of stun grenades, and some M9 bullets. Not bad. Here looks like it. Um, don't see any. Oh, sh that could have really been bad. Did anybody you know, watch the, uh, what was the episode that happened this week? The Grand Tour. That show came to a close, which kind of bugged, you know, kind of bummed me out. And the guys who are doing it are, they're done. At least for now. And that, that was another one that was kind of, kind of bummed me out too. Who's there? Because, I mean, I've been watching the Grand Tour and, uh, don't see me. Thank you. Uh, the Grand Tour and oh, what was the other one? The Top Gear. I used to watch a lot of that growing up. Because I mean, I think honestly, like when Top Gear is one of those shows that it was like when they tried to they did an American version of it, and everybody that I've ever talked to hates it. They just think that it's just it's not the same. 
just doesn't have that same kind of feel to it. And it's going to be going to kind of suck to not be able to see those guys every Friday, but I know they, they want to do something else. So, whatever their next project is, I will definitely be trying to I'll definitely check it out. Socom suppressor. Yes. Thank you. I don't think there's anything up on the second floor that I can get to yet. But I can take out those cameras now without worry. box. Yep. More chaff grenades. Alright, there's no one up there. I think there's, there's a camera here. Psycho Mantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief's detonation code. Hurry up or he'll get Baker's code too. That's right. If the terrorists get Baker's code, they'll be able to launch that nuke anytime they want. Yeah, they'll use Metal Gear to do it. Colonel, did you know they were conducting a military exercise here using Metal Gear? I didn't know. That sounds like a lie. Really? Snake, you've got to understand. I'm just the middleman in this operation. Anyway, hurry up and get to the second floor basement. You've got to save the arms tech president before the terrorists find out his code. Okay. And over. And down. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this, so I'm kind of like... <coughs> excuse me, I'm refreshing myself. Do you have anything of worth? Uh, so... Sorry, there's some noise, loud noise outside my window and I didn't know what the hell that was, so... My, I think it's my people who work in the complex next to me, those loud fuckers. Alright, here is this spot. Here, there's a second room over there, but I've only got the one. Which kind of sucks. Am I too late? I don't know, but I wouldn't get any closer with all those fucking wires. He's alive. 
You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! Like, why would you even do that? Like, just I'm just gonna walk up and just start pulling wires. C4! C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. Oh, it's unlocked. Ocelot. 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 Thank you. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Have you now? Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. We're going to do a little speed running right here. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Because you use revolvers, it's not... It's, it's nothing special. <clears throat> now don't get me wrong, he's one of the greatest characters Draw. when it comes to games, but it's... <laughs> why do they call me Revolver? Do you use revolvers? Yes. Then where's the surprise? Alright. Draw! One! Ah! This is all you have to do. Ah! Ah! He will never fire a shot. Ah! Now I really wish that this game was put out on... Ah! Like, this should be part of the, ah! the collection for this and put it on ah! Switch. Because, ah! I mean, if the GameCube was able to do this... You know what I mean? Like, it would run perfectly well on the Switch. And that is Revolver Ocelot, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. Too bad you're not, because I just beat you. I always love that trick. Camouflage. 
Can't you even die right? What do you mean by that? You are lucky. We'll meet again. Who are you? It's like looking in the virtual boy. I like you. I have no name. That... that exoskeleton. I've seen some pretty good cosplay in the game, so it actually has a motorized helmet for the front part. It's pretty good. Would be a basic understatement. Now here's a better question: Who would it a better, Cyborg Ninja or Raiden Ninja? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The man who came to save your ass. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. Uh, I... I talked. What? Right, so they've got both codes. Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. <clears throat> it's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? I plugged my controller Surgical into the second port. Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kind of like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> uh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. So they either broke his arm or they cut it off. It's never... I don't think I've ever... He's not human! I don't think I've ever found I out. I tell you, he loved every second of it. <clears throat> what happened to your arm? He broke it. Oh, there it, it is. He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Dead. What? It, it can't be. No, that's not what you promised, Jim! Now you want to shut me up! Ah! Calm down! What the hell does he mean by that? What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Sorry. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the 
the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, yeah, but if you launch a nuke, gonna that's going to be... I'm maniacs start a war today. That's going to be Do you still have bad. card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No. Not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that, that, that woman. Woman? Who? Who else? <laughs> a soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier. There you go. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? Well, it's the I only female that we key. know of so far, so... Uh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole her from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Way to go. Damn! <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. He pulls a gun. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact this, her. On the back of the package, that's got to be probably the greatest like fourth right wall away. break that but I've ever me, known about. If this doesn't work, <clears> is there some other way to prevent first the missile the original. launch? Oh. And I mean, it took you me a need while to, to figure that Hal out, too. Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A uh, genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. That's not an understatement. Understatement number the two. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that. Several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted muff. for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? 
complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. It's an achievement in Metal Gear Solid 5. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the military oversight committee. In all honesty, if Metal Gear were a real... Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Just call if it Metal the Gear military was a real industrial thing. complex. Which anyway, Metal would... Gear was going to be formally adopted Use after it. the results of this exercise who, who were analyzed. I don't give a crap about I know you in or your Solid company. Two, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Ray yes, was that's about Marine what I'd expect from a grunt like weapon. you. Here. I'm thinking this would more be an. This army is what you thing. came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. So I can get into that one door on the second floor. Can you walk? And up in the armory, too. No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. It looked like both those that guys knew ninja? him and Ocelot knew something. That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh, what? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh! No, it can't be those Pentagon bastards. So they, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? Good question. They, 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 they're just using you for... for uh, 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 uh. So the Pentagon found a way to remotely send this guy a heart what attack? The hell? Okay. That'd be kind of creepy if that shit existed. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Mm. Don't lie to yeah. me. It looked like another heart attack, but some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? 
more than you can trust me. That's not saying much. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from yes, there. Yes, I know. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Just raises more and more questions about trust. All right, now... They're all SOCOM bullets? Okay. Alright, well, at least I have 24 shots now. And I think my inventory for rations went up one, I think. Hey, buddy. Famous. That's a rifle I've always wanted to fire. I fired an M4. Uh, let's see. I fired a 50 cal, a 240, 249. The shotgun. A hunting shotgun, a military shotgun. There was a Thompson I was able to fire, as well as a P90 at a firing range, but I've always wanted to fire a Famous, just because they looked so interesting, to me at least. No, no items. There's some more in here. Yep. So comes full. Oh, there was this extra C4 there? Ah, shit! Well. Let's try that again. I can't I guess I can say it's no it's not a deathless run anymore, which sucks. You're coming down. All right. I just see four. Almost did it again. Here. Thank you. So I 
That's about 100 shots right there. <clears throat> Let's go. And I'm so far so full. I know there's the, uh, what is it, there's a camera, I don't know if it's a camera sentry or just a camera. That's right on the other side of this wall over here. Just one? Well. C4 wrap a ration. Yeah. Alright, they're still a passed out. Get this out of the way now, so that way by the time Who I get up you? to this first floor, I was floor, really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Able to open Meryl, up that door right. for me. No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? Not really? I don't need lectures. <gasps> You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? I was thinking Snake? about that, uh... You? This reminded me of the... Uh, sorry uh, about before. Being nerd when he was I wasn't like, sure if you were one Snake? of the good guys. Might as well be called a wrecked cock. Her. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful and compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader? Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. That's a good hunch. Oh boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. As we thought. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well... Women have more hiding places than men. Dirty. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. 
Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. Now we know where we need yeah, to go. That's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. Damn it. But it's okay. I've got a level five Of course card. you do. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the... I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you all are. Technically, you are both are green right now. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. You hesitated. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Very true. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. And psychopaths. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard, just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you, the real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> uh, okay, Snake. Okay. I'll be a good girl. Not as we'll funny link as up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen. I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. So yeah, there's a thing called a... I think it's a Hunter's High? Or something like that? There's, there's a couple of videos you can check out here online, which is like right after someone kills their first deer, or like they're, you know, they're going hunting and they, have, they get their first kill, they have that like... The one that I saw was this, I don't know, 10 year old girl maybe? She was out hunting with her dad and she's just like, she's just shaking. Snake, and, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Know, you. She's having a heart, she just can't move. Where she's just you? like, where I can I see you. She's just, just shaking just because of the adrenaline much. of, you know, don't worry. She did I'm disguised the, in this she enemy shot uniform. the gun, she was able to, you know, able you to shoot the deer. I think it was the deer that she shot. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. But I almost had, I was almost able to experience that too. Uh, a couple years ago, I flew home to see family. And uh, when I got home, my 
brother said like the very next day that I, I think it was like a Saturday that he was going out uh, hunting, deer hunting, because it was out of the season. And when I flew home, it was like a three hour, first it was a three hour di- um, time zone difference. And my flight, I think I ended up getting home seven, seven or eight. You know, in the, in the Ohio time. And so I went over to my brother's place and we got up at like, I think, four in the morning. Dipped. And... Okay. But we... We ended up going out hunting that very next morning and I was just... Like, I, I don't know how I was able to get any bit of sleep. So we go out. Uh oh. This might be a problem. I'm gonna hide out here for. But anyways. Okay, so they're right there. But I, you know, we were going out hunting, and right before we were about to leave, uh, the. I saw one deer that was just just outside our just imagining things like out of our range to be able to see it because there's a bunch of trees and stuff and then my brother told me the next thing he's like hey I'm going back out tomorrow and I'm like dude I'm like I'm fighting jet lag I'm fighting the three hour time zones and friends like I just I cannot do any of this so you know, I went over to my mom's place and I crashed there for the day. And then the very next morning when I woke up at like, I don't know, almost noon. Just from, you know, trying to play catch up on sleep. He had sent me a message saying, hey, I caught a deer and I was just kind of pissed. And I missed my opportunity to catch my first deer. Was there a noise just now? Dude, are you going to pass out? There we go. Alright. Do you have any items? No, you gotta... Yeah, we don't need that. Let's check this guy real quick, and then I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode. Ooh, and nine bullets. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here, just chucking through here. So, uh, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody who, you know, watches my videos, messages me on, you know, post comments or whatever. It really means a lot to me. Um, but yeah, like I said, please, you know, if you'd like, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. And hopefully, you guys just can enjoy it as much as this one. Sign of the missing century. All else seems to be in order. All right. See you guys in the next video.